Yes, I do it, I do it. Yeah, we get it, we get it. We in the streets with the scriptures. Pray my people repenting. Don't take my countenance for hatred. My austerness is needed. And by the end of this lesson, y'all gon' know what we preaching. And that's the truth. 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 Lord, our righteousness is never lasting righteousness. And our, and our law is now the, the black man in this trap, man. I'm supposed to act like I don't feel it. Forced to believe in his American dreams to the self esteem of my opinions. Okay. Told that I have a lost lineage. And I'm just supposed to be content with uh, what's done is done. And that's in the past. And accept these terms and conditions when they rape, rob, murder, these yeah. brothers serving they okay. Waiting to righteous judgment. These demons being discovered. Ooh. All fallacies are uncovered. Truth is loose and on the come up. Prophets back to confront you. These devils they running from us. Uh, this is spiritual. Waiting on physical. Okay. Yeah, this is biblical. Yeah. Keep these laws so I see Esau. According to the Bible, what is your nationality? Right? You. I'm sorry. No, y'all say nothing. You. I know. Are you African? Are you a Moor? Are you an American black woman? They say that well, we're who, supposed who to be African. Who did you say you are? I'm not gonna lie, You're I say African American. You say African American? I know I'm not, I'm I know Hebrew I'm not. Israelite. She said she's a Hebrew Israelite. What would you say? I would say African American. You would say African American. What would you say? Uh, African American? Okay, what would you say? Original. Original? Okay. He said original. None of those things, except you, I'm, I'm isolating her now. None of what y'all said can be found historically prior to 1619. African American did not exist. That term was put on you in 1985. Wow. So what were you before that? Negro, colored, and it's hyphenated. Think about it. African hyphen American. Who, where did the name Africa so come from? That, yeah, that's what we're yeah, so Africa. Yeah, yeah. Where did it come from the name? The name Africa. Well, that, that, was a, that was a um, that was a real a real woman. Right? That was a real man. Mother, mother that was a man. That was a white His man. Na- what was the man's name? It was uh, Leo Scipius Africanus. Right. He conquered Hannibal. Yep. During the Punic Wars, they named the continent of which was called Ham or Chem. They named it Africa after him. Right. So now in 16 uh, 1985. Jesse Jackson got together and said with the white man, let's make up a new name. Let's call us some... We're no longer Negroes. Right, we ain't Negroes no more. Right. African <laughs> America. And the name America, where'd it come from? Can you go to school? I'm not in school right now. It came from some white man. I forgot his name. America, where'd the name come from? His name is America. Yeah. Ah, she, yeah. she's good. <laughs> this sister's like good it. here. Amerigo like Vespucci. Right. Amerigo <laughs> Vespucci. <laughs> Went to uh, America in fort went to the continent in 1493. That's right. During the time the of Columbus. They named the it was continent land, after him. It was a land like of many, of many nationalities. That's what it, America means like. Well now it does. They got everybody yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. But I'm showing you the term African American is foolish. Original, that's not doing it. Yeah. So she said that's Hebrew that's Israelite. Right. Now, let's deal with that. Get, go back to Deuteronomy 28. So like, like, like what the elders bringing out, to call yourselves African Americans, you're saying that you come from America, you come from a man named Africanus, and you also come from another man named America. In order to be called by that man's name, because your children are known by the name that you carry. That's right. Okay. So when we say the children of Israel, I want you to understand where this where, where this line of teaching is coming from. When we say the children of Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Mm-hmm. So when we say the children of Israel, we're saying the children of Jacob. Okay? And Jacob had these 12 sons. So the children of Judah was the American blacks, so you can understand. So what would they be called? The Judites. The children of Benjamin would be called the Benjamites. Levites. Okay? Ephraim, Ephraimites, Manessites, you understand? So they were named after their fathers. So in order for us to call ourselves African American, we're saying that we are the, the, the offspring of two white men, which makes no sense. Two white men can't come together and produce right. nobody. Right. So how in the world you're gonna come up and say that you're Af- your African, half of your body is African and the other half is American? 
We did not come from two white men to be have a hyphenated nationality. Jesse Jackson, 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 Jackson was out of his mind. Yes, he, he got paid. Jesse Jackson oh, yeah, got yeah, paid. That's, yeah. that's that. Now, watch this. Deuteronomy, listen good. I want all y'all to listen good. Deuteronomy what? Deuteronomy, We're Deuteronomy 7, verse 1. I just want verse 1. Verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 1. Come on. And Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people. And Moses and the elders of who? Israel. Israel. We're reading about Israel. The Israelites. We're reading. So now, I ask the question, who are we? Go to chapter 28 and start at verse 15. And listen, listen good. But it, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. This is the next chapter. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. I'm going to sum it up. Moses is telling us in the wilderness, if you don't obey God's laws, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. Yes. That all these curses will come on you. Let's read some of these curses. Jump down to verse 32. 32. Thou sons and thou daughters. Your sons and your daughters. Shall be given unto another people. Shall be given unto another people. Did that happen to us? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Read. And thou, and thou eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh -huh. And thou shall be no might in thy hand. When the Bible says there shall be no might in your hand, we don't have the military might or the economic might to rally our people back together. We have no might. You understand that? You understand that? Verse 48. Verse 48, therefore shall thou serve thy enemy. The Bible says, because you broke God's laws, therefore you shall serve who? Yeah. Thy enemies. Yeah. Your enemies. Yeah. It don't say friends. No, it don't. I want you to understand that. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord shall send thee. The Lord sent our enemies against us. Why? Why he sent them against us? He was disobedient. He was disobedient. Mm. You understand that? Mm -hmm. I, I, I understand, but I... I, I, you know what I need you, you know, to do? I'm, I'm, I, I, I just need you to do it. Don't be puzzled. Don't be puzzled. We're going to help you out this day. Why he didn't come himself then to straighten us out? Why he had to do I'm going to explain all that to you. Just bear with me. Come on. That's like... And it's just sin against thee in hunger and in thirst Wait, listen, listen. and in nakedness. He didn't hear. He didn't hear nothing. Therefore shall the Lord serve. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger. Meaning you got to serve your enemies for food. Uh, and in thirst for water. Yeah, right? Right? And in nakedness. And clothing. Right? And in want of all things. And one of all things you got to serve your enemies. If you want education, you got to go to enemies. Yes. You want to get married, go to enemies. If you drop dead, you, your enemies got to bury you. If, we're if you want toilet tissue, you, your enemies. If we're like the, the greatest race, though, why, why do we have to go through the white people? I'm going to explain it to you. Why? I need you to just listen. listen. Okay. Now, he asked a good question. He said, why didn't God just come down, right? Yeah. When you read this history, where were we? Who knows the history where we at? Um, we just came out of where? We just came out of Egypt. Africa. We were slaves in Africa under Pharaoh. Moses came so, and God stepped down and showed great power and destroyed the Egyptians. We were delivered out into the wilderness. What we're reading here, Moses is warning us, if you break God's laws, this is what's going to happen. We didn't believe him. We just saw Egypt destroyed. We said, we ain't going to slavery no more. And look where we at. That's why the Lord said, oh, you want to be hard-headed? I'm going to let you suffer. Then after you suffer, I'm going to allow my son to come Die on the cross for you, right. then he's gonna come and save you. That's the plan. He ain't coming down. We rebellious now. Look at us. We on drugs. We hate each other. We gotta learn. What we did not learn in the wilderness, God said, you must learn now. You understand that? Yeah. Come on. And in want of all things, mm -hmm. and he shall put a yoke of iron upon my neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Look at the picture. This is a photograph in the late 1800s. Read. Until he have destroyed these. Do y'all see these photographs here? Yeah. So the Bible is the only true book. Don't let nobody tell you the white man wrote the Bible. That's right. You got to be insane. That's right. This, is pop this, this was written 3,000 years ago. So much my life. This was written 3,000 years ago. And this right. happened, what, 250 years ago? It came to pass. That's right. It came to pass. So what you're telling me is I never knew because I didn't take the time out to actually read the That's Bible right. word for word myself. You didn't. Wow. But guess what? You have to be taught. You have to be taught. 
that's your question. Yes. When the curses started, did it actually start when, uh, when Noah was drinking the food of the... It, the curses that we're reading about, and remember, Moses was way after yeah. Noah. Yeah. Right. The curses began when we went into slavery under the Assyrian kept, to, okay. captivity. Okay, so... I know where her question's coming yes. from. <laughs> Ham was not cursed black. Thank you. That's a big that's lie. Right. That's, that's, that's a lie. Right. That's, that's a lie that they taught in church. Thank right. you. All of the sons of Noah that's were black. That's all I wanted to know. That's right. Wait, wait, and I, including Noah. Let me ask this. If all the sons of Noah were black, where would you go to prove that? You'll go into Genesis. I forgot what right. chapter. I like this. What's your name? I like this. Yeah. Give me Genesis 2 and 7. Genesis. Watch this. Chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Let, let's take a look at the dust of the ground. Let's take a look at the dust of the ground. What color is that? My color. There you go. <laughs> so the first man, Adam, and his wife Eve, which came from him, were That's black. Right. The That's black right. man in black. You mean these ministers never read that? I'm telling you. Well, they, they read it, they get him paid. They, hey. they skimmed around. Yeah. Yeah. Read it again, they they for, read it again. Wow. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. You see that? So the first man was black. Yes. The first woman was black. Where did the white man come from? From us. Black. We they came, came from us. They came from us. Black they came from us. I heard that. It was a it black was woman. No, 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 no. They came from us. They came from us. Because. Because what? Look at um, the tribes of the Israel with uh -huh. each and every person. Mm. All right, because um, Esau and Jacob ah. were two nations. Ah. Give me that, give me that, give me that. <laughs> see? Now you, I see you do a little reading. Been learning and reading. But we're going to get in a minute. I'm going to get to in a minute. The minister don't have no responsibility for that. I knew, I I'm probably in the seventh I don't know. None of it. I mean, I got made him like that. He made them like that. Wait, what was the question? He made them like that. Read about it, read about it. Verse 23. Chapter 3? Yeah, yeah. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. This is the black woman, Rebecca. She wanted to get pregnant. She got pregnant. But she was having a troubled childbirth. She said, something's wrong. So now she goes to the Lord, and the Lord says, this is what's going on in your stomach. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. You got two nations. The beginning of two nations are in your stomach. Because the word Genesis means beginnings. Beginning, right? Come on. And two manner of people. Two manner of people. Two different types of people. Shall be separated. Shall be separated. From thy bowels. From your stomach. Read. And the one people. One people. Shall be stronger than the other people. Read. And the elder. The child shall serve the younger. Serve the younger child. Watch this. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, nine months have passed now. Behold, there were twins in her womb. Now we know that these twins were fraternal, not identical, because he said, Two manner of people shall be separated. That's right. Read. And the first came out That's red. The first boy came out what? Red. Red. Uh, red. Hairy. Now, uh, red I want hairy. you to take a look. Uh, that's some white people. Just take a look. Oh, yeah. What color are they? What do we call them? They're hairy. They're red. 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 They know that stuff. They say, let's go, let's go. Let's everybody get out of here. They're red and hairy. Down south, like we call them rednecks. But it's not just their neck that get red. Right. They're red from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. When they red show red. any emotion, they turn they, red. Now, he has a they white do. shirt on. See his white shirt? Yeah. But his skin is red. red. That's right. Bible prophecy. That's right. Your sons must learn this. Your daughters must learn this. Oh, my sons and they will learn. Yes. Come on. I, I, and I, the I, first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Very hairy. <laughs> and they called his name Esau. They called that boy Esau. Read. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. So Jacob's left, took hold of Esau's heel. Read. Read. And his They gave the color of Esau, but they did not give the color of Jacob. Why? 
because he looked like everybody on the planet. That's From right. From the time of Genesis. He was smooth. That's why they didn't mention his guys. color. Huh? So it was a white, um, a white baby and a black baby. That's right. Uh -huh. And this happened all in the news. Google it. Yeah. Twins being born. One black, one white. It comes out, happens a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're reading here in the Bible. Right. right, they call us white kids albinos. You ever heard that term albino? That's what it's yeah. called. A black man, a black woman can have an albino child. Yeah. Happens all the time. That's, that's not white. I don't know it's not white. No, the, the ethnicity, they're black, but they, they have no melanin. Right. The right. melanin exactly. is gone. Exactly. You understand that? So now, I asked you a question earlier, all of you. What we read in Deuteronomy, Moses was speaking to white people. Is that what he calls them, black people? Oh, no. Israelites. Israel. Yeah, now, did you say that because you heard us no, say that? I'm, I'm saying that because I'm, well, I'm, well, now you. Oh, what were the name of the people Moses was warning? The Israelites. The Israelites. Now, what we read in the prophecies, what do those prophecies about the slavery, the yokes of iron on our neck like we got here, what do those prophecies prove that we are who? Not you. I want her to answer. What did he say? He said Chinese. <laughs> so, what we're reading proves that we're the Israelites. That's what I want you to see. Give me 1 Kings chapter 8. I'm going to show you some more. Because slavery is throughout the whole Bible, not just Deuteronomy. 1 Kings 8 and verse 47. 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. 46 above. 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46. Listen good. If they sin against thee. If they sin against you, we have sinned as a people. For there is no man that sinneth not. Read. And thou be angry with them. God is angry with us. And deliver them to the enemy. Have we been delivered to the enemy? Yes. yes. Read. So that they carry them away captive. So that they carry them away captive. Look at this map. Unto the land of the enemy. We went to the land. North America, all throughout here. We far or near. Far or near, because they scattered us. Some ships went to Spain. Some ships went to Europe. They scattered Argentina. They scattered us. We Yet, if they will, shall bethink themselves. Now I want y'all to listen good to this. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. What does bethink themselves mean? Look at this. Rethink. Close. Yeah. Close. Rethink. Rethink yeah. or remember who you are. Here. Repent. repent. Have you repented? Yes. yes. I have. Did I just answer yes or no? He says yes, but we're gonna see. What about you? I feel like I have. You feel like you have. Yeah, but that's what I'm learning now. Okay, the answer's no. What about you? I really don't know, but Okay, that's the I, I know, but it's like I've been in church all my life. Uh -huh. It's like, you know, we hear the pastor say certain things. But it's like, I got to the point to where I didn't want to hear him anymore. I want to go directly to the Bible. Okay. Now repent. So, Let's deal with that word repent. Repent means to what? Ask for forgiveness. Okay, if change I'm a murderer. Your heart. Change your heart. Okay, she yeah. said change your heart. Yeah, like if I'm a murderer and I repent, when I continue murdering, sure. no, you're not supposed to. if I, let's say, I'm a homosexual, and I repent. Would I continue in that lifestyle? No. If I'm an adulterer, y'all know what adultery is. Yes. Would I continue in that lifestyle? So basically, no. repent is when you ask for forgiveness and stuff, but you never go back to A little more than that. I'm going to show you. Get me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. When you repent of your sins, you keep. God. We went into slavery because we broke what? The laws. God's laws. Yeah. So when you repent, what would you keep now? You keep his laws. We'll be, obedient. Laws. we'll be obedient. So many of our people in church say, I repented in the name of Jesus, but they don't keep no laws. They still eat pork, shrimp. They still commit adultery. You got fact, homosexual all in a choir. They're not repenting. I'm going to show you another law. Deuteronomy 20, 25. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Mm -hmm. Neither shall a man put on so let's start with the man part. <laughs> men shall not wear what women wear. That's what does right. that mean? That's right. No homosexual. Right. 
skirts, high heels, blouses, uh, pantyhose, bright lipstick, all that. But now, let's, let's look at the first part of that. Read again. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do women wear today that they should not wear? Shaggy pants. You know what I mean? I, I want y'all to see, right, I want y'all to see, you gotta, a part of repentance is, a, a, is examining yourself. Cause you can't examine me too much, cause you don't know me, I really don't know you. But you know you, he knows him. You gotta think about your life and say, well what am I doing, what am I doing? So one law is about the dress code. Now you might say that's a simple law, but you get, like the bathroom uh, signs. They say this sign is for women, this one is for men. The white man knows how women should dress and how men should dress. But in church, the black woman is all confused today. Because you got women's rights, feminist movement, that destroyed the pants of the women. One question, my brother. That's the crafty council. One yes. question. You from the Quran or you from the Bible? You from We're reading the Bible. We're reading the Bible. From the Bible? Right. Not the Quran. Not okay. the Quran. The Quran is a book the Arabs are Is that before the Bible or after the Bible? The Quran was 500 years after Christ. 500 years after. So Muslim has no significance? Islam has no significance. I'm going to show you. Give me Jeremiah 3 verse. So this is Islam. What is this? No. No. That's not We're reading the Bible. Yes. What, 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 what is this? I mean, what? You see the no. sign here? We're teaching that the black men and well, black women that went into slavery are the Israelites. Israelites. According right. to the Bible. Not according but, to how but we I'm, feel. I'm saying, you're, showing, you're telling me something I don't know nothing about. Okay. This, I'm asking you a question. Right. What is this? We're the Israelites. I don't, you're the Israelites. Right. This, okay. We're the Israelites. Now, this is what I need you to do. Because we, if you had came a little earlier, you would have been here. Well, I understand. So now. But you're the, you're the, I'm a, this I'm the a, first, I'm a first time. Good. Now Treat you're going like to fly, right? Time. So now I'm going to I'm, I'm going to read it, too. I want to, please read that. I will. Now, where are you at? Jer he asked about Islam. You asked about significance of the Arabs, right? Muslims. Jeremiah 3, so is that what I want? Yes, sir. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 2. This is what would happen to the Israelites. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places and see where thou hast been leading with the whip. In the ways hast thou set for them as the Arabian in the wilderness. And thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredoms and with thy wickedness. The Bible says, in the ways you have sat for the Arabians and polluted your land. I want y'all to look at that sign right there with the Arabs. These are the Islamic Arabians. They had us in slavery. We're Israelites. 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 They had us in slavery. Okay, I need you to just listen, brother. We're, we're teaching out here. They had us in slavery, okay, prior to the white man. We learned Islam under them. Now I want you to see what the prophecy says again. Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 2. Lift up thy eyes unto the high places and see where thou hast not been lying with. In the ways hast thou set for them as the Arabian in the wilderness. And thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredom. So the prophecy says we were sent for the Arabians, which are the Arabs, and become polluted. That's, That's what Islam is. Now, I told you that Islam came 500 years after Christ. Give me that Deuteronomy. Is it 3226? About new gods. I want that. Deuteronomy. So I said Quran. Okay, pull it to the same thing. Listen good, listen good, call it a read. Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 17. Mm -hmm. They sacrifice unto devils, not to God. Mm -hmm. Moses is talking to our people. He got angry with us. He said prophetically, you would sacrifice unto devils, not unto God. Read. To gods whom they knew not. To gods whom you knew not. Do, to new gods. To new gods. That came newly up, whom their fathers feared not. To new gods that came up, whom your fathers feared not. So when you examine history, Islam came 500 years after Christ and the apostles. That's a new thing in the earth. That's what we started worshiping. That's why you got a lot of black men talking about Asalaamu Alaikum. The Arabs slaughtered us. They hate us. You understand that? That's not for us. That is not for us like Louis Farrakhan. He just made a covenant with, uh, what's that group he just made? Dianetics, the Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard. 
Yeah, that's they not believe for us. in no God. Yeah, no God at all. So, Why they give a fire kind of big check? Big 23 million. Yes. Well, I mean, so it's it's all them Christmas things. This is a thing. Oh, okay. Christmas. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Okay, I'm going to explain it to you. Okay. I know. Uh, what you got? Mm -hmm. Okay, read that for us. Before I get your question, you pull the scripture for me. I like that. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 27. Now, before he reads it, you ever was in the, who You was ever Muslim before? I was born in Nigeria. Okay. My name, my name is Divine. Okay, now. I used to be a part of that, and then I learned I had to make a hajj. So a brother said to me, he was out teaching. I said, I am a Muslim. I said, he said, you made your hajj yet? I said, no, but I'm going to. He said, do some research before you go. Just do me that favor. So I said, mm, I checked the brother, I checked it out. When you make your hajj, you gotta go around the Kaaba stone. You heard about the Kaaba stone, a black meteorite, right? Now listen good to this, follow the reading. Jeremiah chapter two, verse 27, saying to a stock, thou art my father and to a stone thou hast brought me forth that's what islam does you got to go make your hajj and give humble yourself to a rock right. that's idolatry this is what all this is prophetic read the whole verse again that's why the most i got so mad at this right. jeremiah chapter 2 verse 27 saying to a stock thou art my father and to a stone thou me forth. To a stone thou has brought me forth, man. For they have turned their back unto me. We turned our back from the Most High. Right. And not their face. And not their face. Right. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. So now when you're in trouble, you're praying to a rock. Save us, rock! And the rock's just sitting there. It's a rock. It can't do nothing for you. So Islam was a destructive religion to our people. Shalom Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ, here to announce and make it plain and known to you that today in Charlotte, North Carolina, we have our seventh school location here at 5105 Regan Drive. You're gonna have a good time learning, learning your history, learning the precepts on what we need to do to repent and how we can be delivered, how we will be delivered out of captivity. So come join us here at 5105 Regan Drive in Charlotte, North Carolina. See you soon.